What's going on, everybody? It's your app geek here, Uche Waneri. And today we're going to talk a little bit about this situation with Dave Chappelle. Now, uh, generally, I keep a lot of my conversations to movies, video games, things like that. But this is a pop culture channel as well. So definitely uh, we'll pick and choose the stories that I like to dig into in regards to the goings on in pop culture. And Dave Chappelle is one of those going ons that I always love to talk about because Dave is a special kind of comedian. Uh, that really does provide a lot of perspective and a lot of laughs to a lot of people. So I figured it'd be worth it to talk a little bit about his situation here. Now, as we all know, Netflix is the closer. The, the huge comedy special that Dave Chappelle released has been under a ton of backlash from the LGBTQ community in regards to the jokes that he made in those videos. Now, again, I mean, it's really not an issue of uh, whether or not uh, I believe uh, Dave is uh, saying things that that are offensive to the LGBTQ community because, in my opinion, jokes are jokes. I mean, I'm pretty open about a lot of things, but comedy always plays on that edge of acceptable and not acceptable, and it's always kind of looked at in a parallel universe. It's 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 jokes on the side of what we actually see. It's a mirror of. Uh, our society and how they give these jokes. So I'd never look at them as things that I need to feel offended by. Because a lot of times you find a little slight speck of truth that really is what kind of is the, the nucleus of the laughter and the comedy that comes with it. Is that there's always a little speck of it in every kind of joke or a lot of jokes that you hear from some of the best comedians out there. But here, Dave Chappelle has finally spoken out about the situation with Netflix. We're gonna go through this article real quick. It says Dave Chappelle willing to discuss the closer with trans community, but says he's not bending to anybody's demands. Now, again, I feel like uh, the response to this situation uh, in a general sense has been positive. Many people liked the special. Many people thought maybe it wasn't his best uh, stand-up performance, but it still had some laughs, it still had some good commentary, and it still had things that people can discuss around uh, the water cooler if they so choose to do so. It's really it's something that you know is, is unique to his kind of comedy, is that people often will talk about what he says for weeks, even months on end from there. But in this article, it says, Dave Chappelle has spoken out about the, con about the controversy over his Netflix special, The Closer, in a new stand-up video saying that he is willing to meet the transgender Netflix employees or other members of the trans community, but won't bend to anybody's demands. I mean, would you expect any less from Dave Chappelle? In the video, Chappelle reminded unapologetic, remained unapologetic about the special, which was, which was accused of containing transphobic and homophobic remarks, it led to a walkout at Netflix saying, I said what I said. He's owning it. <laughs> he, he, he said what he said. I mean, hey, you know, I, you know, in this regard, for me, honestly, I, I don't see what this, why this issue is such a big deal when we're talking about comedy. You know, we're literally talking about comedy here. It's been said in the press that I was invited to speak to the transgender employees of Netflix, and I refused. That is not true from the horse's mouth. That is not true. If they had invited me, I would have accepted it, although I am confused about what we would be speaking about, Chappelle said in the video. I said what I said, and boy, I heard what you said. My God, how could I not? You said you want a safe working environment in Netflix. It seems like I'm the only one that can't go to the office anymore. Hmm, interesting. Chappelle claimed that the controversy was about corporate interests and that some members of the LGBT LGB LGBTQ community uh, have been supportive of him. I want everyone in this audience to know that even though the media frames it, uh, frames it that it's me versus the community, that is not what it is. Do not blame the LGBT community for any of this shit. This has nothing to do with them. It's about corporate interests and what I can say and what I cannot say, Chappelle said. For the record, and I need you to know this, Everyone I know from that community has been loving and supporting, so I don't know what all this nonsense is about. And I kind of uh, reiterate that same sentiment. I don't really know what this is all about because at the end of the day, everyone seems to understand that it's comedy, except for a select few. And that's where the issue really comes into play. And it really creates this whole narrative of the cancel culture uh, uh, alphabet people. One of the things that Dave said in the stand-up that, that really is so glaringly 
true at this point, based on the reaction of the T LGBTQ community, is that he said it's easier to kill a black man than it is to make fun of the LGBTQ community. He said that in the stand-up special, amongst many other things that he said. But that one stuck out to me personally because the very next day, the very next day, his talking points and his jokes were the things that the LGBTQ community used to try and censor him, to try and quote unquote cancel him. Uh, they asked for a special to be removed and then they asked for a number of different demands from Netflix that would basically give them editorial control over the content as well as have Netflix invest millions upon millions into their specific community, which to me, that seems more like you want to be treated special rather than you wanted to be treated equal. And if you're going to be treated equal and if you want equality, then you got to get made, fun, get made fun of like the rest of us do when comedians get up there and entertain us. They make fun of all of us. Above all of this, Dave Chappelle has kind of proven his point to be 100% true, which is, you know, unfortunate, but that is what it is. <clears throat> now, to go on here, it says... Chappelle also spoke about his upcoming documentary about his summer 2020 comedy tour, claiming that it has now been excluded from film festivals. This film that I that I made was was invited to every film festival in the United States, and some of those invitations I accepted. When this controversy came out about the closer, they began dis disinviting me from these film festivals, Chappelle claimed. And now, today, not a film company, not a movie studio, not a film festival, nobody will touch this film. Thank God for Ted Sarandos and Netflix. He's the only one that didn't cancel me yet. <sighs> I mean, what kind of bullshit is that? Though Chappelle said he was willing to meet with members of the trans community, he jokingly listed off a slew of conditions that would have to be met the to the transgender community. I am more than willing to give you an audience, but you will not summon me. I'm not bending to anyone's demands. And if you want me to meet or want to meet with me, I'd be more than willing to, but I have some conditions. First of all, you cannot come if you have not watched my special from beginning to end. You must come to a place of my choosing at a time of my choosing. And thirdly, you must admit that Hannah Gadsby is not funny. Of course, you can tell that that's the humor that Dave Chappelle possesses. Chappelle closed out the video by saying he plans to make his movie available in 10 cities and then asked the audience, am I canceled or not? Uh, the release of The Closer resulted in a reckoning at Netflix with uh, co-CEO Ted Sarandos defending the special and trans employees and allies of the streaming hosting, uh, streaming ho streamer hosting a walkout in protest of October 20th, on October 20th, during the walkout organized by Ashley Marie Preston. Now, thing about this person, Ashley Marie Preston, uh, this is a trans woman who has made a slew of racist remarks in her Twitter uh, past. A slew of, of xenophobic, a slew of anti-Asian remarks. She is belittled, integrated the anti the, or the Asian community as well. So, you know, that's kind of like the kettle call, the pot calling the kettle black. She is literally uh, showing a little bit of hypocrisy there. No, not a little bit. Showing a lot of hypocrisy there. Uh, if you just dig through that internet browser history, you are sure to dig up dirt on each and every one of us. So it makes no sense to throw rocks from your glass house when you know that there is nothing to hold your structure up. So here is a video uh, from uh, Vito Gasaldi, uh, a guy who uh, does work on YouTube. I've, I've been on a couple of live streams with him before, uh, but this is a guy who uh, initially went to this protest and he had a sign up that just said, I like Dave. Uh, a couple of protesters ripped it out of his arms. Then as soon as they ripped it out of his arms and broke the sign, they said, oh, he's got a weapon. Uh, it's all over Twitter. You can go find it. It's pretty ridiculous. But here's another video here of another person who's holding up a sign, a comedian who's holding up a sign. And this is what happens to him. Let me just read the tweet. It says, Joe Chris, Chris, uh, Cristali, Joe, <clears throat> Joe Cristali, the same Netflix writer who ripped up my sign and accused me of wielding a weapon, later attempted to destroy another comedian's sign. This altercation ended with the comedian being thrown into a concrete planter and suffering a serious blow to the head. See, now this is to me is where, you know, this is where it's ridiculous. This is where you, there's just no place uh, for you to talk about anyone uh, causing words, making words into violence when uh, you are clearly doing it right here. Let's take a look at this video real quick. Okay, so he's just holding a sign. He's just like, what is going on here? I'm just, I like, we like jokes. 
And this is the same guy here who ripped out veto sign, broke it, and then said he had a weapon. So, what's it going to be? Do you want to be equal or do you want to be special? Because this behavior here, to me, it shows me that you want to be special. You don't want to be equal. You want to have your own and you want it to be held up in high regard for you and yours. You don't want to be on the same playing field as everyone else. And I think that that's something that they're going to have to come to a reckoning with because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we can't all be at the expense of, of one, one group of people if they feel that anything that isn't, you know, showing them in a good light is considered hate. Because when, we, when, when they come out and they actually try to uh, demonstrate, which is everyone's right, uh, they become violent. At least these group of people did. I'm not saying that's the whole community. I'm just saying these group of people. So, you know, you got to figure out what it is you want. Do you want to be equal or do you want to be special? I feel like if we're all equal, then we all should be able to laugh at ourselves. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Dave Chappelle has responded to the controversy around Netflix as the closer. And we see that, uh, you know, violence isn't just limited to uh, what people deem it to be in speech. It also happens in real life uh, when people are challenged uh, with a different or differing opinion in some cases. So let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button if you like this and subscribe to the At Geek Uche Waneri. Appreciate you guys so much for checking this out and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.